Well, not only is Frying Pan Farm Park home to the oldest working farm in Fairfax County, there are also 15 acres of crops and a farmhouse garden that helps to feed students at Fairfax County Public Schools. They got a lot going on. They do. Meteorologist Caitlin McGrath is live in Herndon with more on this special partnership. Hey, Caitlin. Hey there, Lorenzo and Leslie. That's right. We are in the garden right now. And what a special part of Frying Pan Farm Park. You know, we've showed you the animals. They are great, but you guys are doing some really wonderful work here in the garden as well. Yes, we are, Caitlin. Thank you so much. People are often surprised to learn that Frying Pan is more than just our animals and is way, they are way fun. And um, I love coming to work on the farm, being with the animals, seeing the babies in the springtime. But my favorite place of Frying Pan is right where we're standing right now, here in this beautiful garden next to our farmhouse, here to teach folks about what it was like, what agriculture was like back in the day of, of the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s here in Fairfax County, and how people grew their own food, how they were connected um, to what they ate um, here on the farm. So cool, so much to learn and see. I know it doesn't look like much right now. It is still very early in the season, but talk about who takes care of this garden and how volunteers really are the backbone of this operation. Oh my goodness, yes. We are volunteer dependent here at Frying Pan as well as the Park Authority. And we have a dedicated group of garden volunteers here. They make the plan. They come in on after they work a full day during the week. They come in on all their weekends. Every spare moment they get, they're here volunteering in the garden, planting uh, plants, they're uh, sowing seeds at home, bringing them to the garden, weeding, and making it this beautiful place that we see here today. And real quick, you guys have some other little helpers as well and a great educational opportunity for our local students. Absolutely. Flores Elementary School, their green team, they come here and they work in the garden. It is their environmental education. It is their hands-on learning. We get their hands in the dirt. If my grandma was here, she would say soil because uh, <laughs> dirt is in the kitchen, soil is what's in the garden. Uh, but that is, is so important for our, our youngest volunteers in that Flores Elementary group green team. We are so glad that they are back after the pandemic here working with us alongside all of our volunteers that make this place thrive. Nicole, thank you so much. And what a great day. We picked a great evening to be out here. So thankful for you guys hosting us and learning so much. You guys, what a great place to visit. It sure yeah. is. And yeah. to know where your food comes from. That's right. And, and you start, start that learning mm -hmm. early. Absolutely. Caitlin, thanks.